Hello, my name is Matthew Brown, and I am a PhD candidate at Simon Fraser University. This is a fast tutorial on how to use the Linux or other Unix-based systems command line to merge multiple SIF files into one. As a quick note, this should include a mass Mac OS X because it is a Unix-based system. Um, I will be using the Windows command line for, or the Linux subsystem for Windows to do this because it's simpler for me to record on than my rather primitive Linux system. Um, I'm The first thing is to change directory in Linux, use the change directory command, and then the file you're going to. Because I'm using the subsystem, that path is rather complicated, so I'm not going to actually type it in. Uh, to see what files there are, you can type in ls, or more usefully for us, ls-l. Um, so I've prepared some SIF files. These are in fact all the SIF files from my last paper. Uh, so a quick note, the Cambridge Crystallographic Data Center does not recommend merging your SIFs before uploading. Sometimes they do not unmerge well. However, journals prefer one SIF file, uh, so it's still a useful technique. And as a note, I've included the authorship in each file. That is totally fine with the SIF format. It just means the authorship information is localized to that structure. If you prefer to have a general authorship for the whole file, simply make a file named, say, author.sif, put that information in there, and then have it as the first file on your uh, on your SIF list. Um, all this technique does is it takes all the files and sticks them into one file. So let's go back to our Linux command line. The command we're using is cat or concatenate. Then we go with to bippy bippy. Uh, you can see these are appearing very quickly because I'm using tab completion, which means I hit the tab key and it completes as far as it can with until it hits something that is ambiguous. On some systems, not this one, you can in fact tap the tab key multiple times and it will cycle through the possible alternatives. So we've got cat and the list of all our files here. So the this arrow means redirect the output. Um, so first I'll show you what this will do if I don't do anything. So it is now just literally, uh, stop that, printing each file line by line in order to screen. Not very useful. And if you do that by accident, I stopped it by pressing the control and C, uh, like if you were copying text on Windows. So pushing the up key brings my last command back. So if you type in the arrow, that means redirect to a file. So let's go with linux.sif. Now, instead of displaying to screen, it's taken all of those and written them to a file named linux.sif. We go ls-l, we can see there's a very large file named linux.sif. Um, and if you look, uh, unfortunately I did that up there. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, if you look, the total file size here is in fact the sum of all these other ones. Um, that's because that's literally all we've done. And now we're finished. Right? I find that's faster than opening each file, hitting control A, copying, going into another one, pasting, and so on, and much less error prone. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, please send any feedback, requests for another crystallographic tutorial, um, suggestions on improvements I could make to my technique or video work to MatthewLachlanBrown at gmail.com or while I'm still at Simon Fraser, mba83 at sfu.ca. And thank you very much.